Hello, and thank you all for being here this morning. In 2006, Salman Khan founded Khan Academy. In 2011, Zach Sims and Ryan Bubensky founded Code Academy. Since then, nearly 20 other companies have sprung up, all geared towards helping people do more with common computers. Programming is a great way to do that because it's relevant, it's versatile, it stimulates the brain, pays well above the national average, and is highly rewarding. One of the reasons programming hasn't been very popular up until now is that learning a new coding language is very similar to learning a foreign language. Three researchers from the Max Planck Institute for Psycholinguistics has found that one key concept of language is the syntax, or how the words fit together. Similarly, in programming, after the developer realizes what he wants his program to do, he gets busy writing the syntax, so the computer also knows what he wants his program to do. Programming also helps develop critical thinking and problem solving skills. For example, when I started programming five years ago, I uh, got my start on Code Academy, and a lot of the time, when I'd be working on an assignment, I'd get stuck, and I'd have to think critically about what I had learned in past assignments, and focus that knowledge on my current assignment, and just keep working at it until I came to my answer. Uh, learning to code also helps students develop abstraction and decomposition skills. Abstraction is when you look at the whole big broad idea and you just start working at it right off the bat with what you know. Decomposition, on the other hand, is when you would take this big broad idea and you would section it into smaller, more manageable pieces and you work at each one of those individually until, lo and behold, you finished the whole assignment. It wasn't even that bad. According to CNN.com, software engineers that use these skills earn, on average, close to six figures annually, which places them in the top 75th percentile nationally. Companies that hire these software engineers expect them to have the skills and technical expertise necessary to create, develop, and maintain solutions for complex pro programs. And according to CodeSmart.com, just like working with any other set of tools, finishing a program gives the developer a really nice sense of pride in being able to look back at what he's accomplished. In conclusion, as, as proven, programming is a great skill to learn. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or a seasoned project manager, because programmers never really stop learning. There's always something new to learn. If there's one thing you take away from this presentation this morning, I think it should be this quote from Alex Elaine, who's the engineering manager at Dropbox and author of Jumping into C++. He says, when you program, you're a creator. You go from having a blank text file to a working program, nothing to limit you but your imagination. Programming is like having access to the absolute best set of Legos in the world in almost unlimited quantities. Even better, you can get all of your building materials completely for free on the internet. Amazing. I encourage each of you to enroll in a computer class and try it out for yourselves. 